I just finished 3D printing my chronograph for my CZ457. Um, this is what it looks like. That's the rail for the uh, proximity coil sensors. So how I install it is first I mount the barrel alignment, the green uh, piece here. So once I install the barrel alignment, then I can align the coil holder um, to the rail and then secure it with these two screws here. So you want to have at least six to eight inches apart um, to get the best uh, accuracy from the chronograph. Um, if need to, uh, let's just say if I have a barrel tuner, then I would just you know, slide in this extension rail here and then screw it in to these two holes here to secure it. Alright, so let's put it back in. Um, so yeah, so that's what that's for. It's just in case I need to separate the coils further out to get uh, either improved accuracy or when I have the barrel tuner attached to the end. So once I have aligned the proximity coils to the rail, I can just unscrew this to remove the, al the barrel alignment. So slide that out. So now the two coil holders are perfectly aligned to the barrel. And I can just remove that. So that's what it looks like. Um, I also 3D, print, 3D printed the coil cover for it, so the coil would be installed in this holder and then once uh, it's installed then I can put the cover back on to cover up the coil, um, but I may not use it for now, I might have to make some additional changes to the coil design to, to get the best sensitivity. So. Uh, once that's finalized, then this whole uh, coil holder might change a bit. Um, yeah, so I read a bit about the um, proximity sensor coil IC, and it doesn't look very promising. It's quite slow, so I might have to design something discreet that's uh, a lot faster than what's available off the shelf. Uh, I have a few ideas um, but yeah I just have to experiment and uh, figure out how to make the, um, the proximity proximity coil uh, sensor uh, faster and better yep so that's what it looks like close it in that's it thanks for watching